Hi everyone, my name is Ron Leite and welcome back to another Data in the Wild episode hosted by Data Mini. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel below and click the bell to turn on notifications to be the first to know every time we upload a new video. Today we'll see how to send out an email from another user account or another Google Groups account. Note that if I run the email, every time I run, the email will be sent out my account here. We'll be using this email here. Now, if I'm on a company, I can go to a group here, Google Groups, create a Google Group and send it using this email from the group. As I'm using a free account, it's not working as expected, so Google Groups doesn't work to register as an alias, so here I created another Google account. So here I have a second account, then I'm going to my main one here, I'll go to my email, then under settings, all settings and accounts, I'll add it as an alias. Now I'll raise this to show you the process. Basically this is the default you'll be seeing your own Google account here, so you click on add another email change the name for whichever you want and then add the email address here I'll be using this one leave this option enabled this needs to be enabled click on next step and this will send out a verification email so you need access to the email you want to use if it is a group you don't need to be part of the group all we, you need is someone to send you the email like the code so just click on send verification and then open the second mail here this was the one I already had, so let's wait for the new one. Now, we can just click on this, or we can copy this code and come here and paste it. Click on verify, that window will close, and then you have your alias here. To know if it's working, just click on compose, and then check if you have another email to select here. Now, back to our spreadsheet here. I'll erase the sent from here, just so we can use this as an example. Then I go under Tools and Script Editor. Now here I created a new code. So here we have the Get Group Mail. So just click on the plus sign and add a new script, name it however you want. And here is a very simple script that will just get off the aliases in our account and log them, just so we can make sure it's working. So this is the email I just created. Now back here to email, we'll be using this email here. How we can do that? Under here, you add a new variable, so it's the same one getting the aliases. Then when we go to send the email, you will have to make some changes. So here we have two ways. We have the mail app send mail, which is the one we've been using in the past videos, but now we need to use the Gmail app send email. This one can send from another user, but this one can't. Even if you make the changes needed, like add the from and the name here, it will not work. The email will still be sent out by the user running the code. So the Gmail send email is almost the same thing. There are some minor changes here. So here we have the two. Now we don't need this at the start, you're just using row one. Then we have the subject but we don't need this at the start. Then you have the message. Now we open here the keys, then we'll type from alias zero, which is the only alias we have in this account. If I had multiple aliases, I need to detect which one I need. Then I'll add a new name. Now this is just some minor changes, so it doesn't show up the name of the other account, just show this one. Here we still need the HTML body, we have the message here, but we still need this one, just so Google knows that he needs to set up the message as an HTML format, otherwise the code will be the one like this, this will be the text inside the email, all of this will be just a simple text and not formatted correctly, so we need this here. In this case we need the attachments, like the one above, and down here it's the same thing, but without the attachments. If I check here, it's not sent, so I'll run the script. It's sent now, I'll come here to my email, 
and in my inbox here you can see that now the email is from dmbot and now it's not from my email oops not this one it's not from this email here it is from my second email account which is this one right here if this was a group like I shown you before the Google groups this would be sent by the Google group and if I click on reply this will be replied to my second account here not my own account so that's how you add an alias to your Google account and also that's how you send emails from it using Google Apps Script. Thank you for watching and have a great day. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to know when future videos are posted. Thank you for watching.